I'm Raj. I'm on my way to the theater to go watch Kamati Param. I'm looking forward to it because this is our first time going to a theater to watch a Malala movie. So I'm I'm hyped up. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, thanks to one of our subscriber Max Tube to uh, looking out for us because I had no idea even like this movie was playing in Atlanta at all. So he found out and uh, he told us about this theater and everything which is not really a normal theater I think and I think this is like a like it's like a little building and uh, a lot of Malayalam um, community got together and uh, created this or been there before so I'm kind of looking forward to it I think it'll be nice to experience a Malayalam movie in a theater with the other people and because uh, uh, I made sure they're playing subtitles they said they are so which is uh, which is nice and Deep is on her way too. Uh, she was she was home, and so it should be. She should probably get there before I will. So my GPS still showing me I'm like 15 minutes away. I just hope I make it on time because I don't want I don't want to miss the beginning. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie, and it got really good reviews, and it stars Dulkier. So who's our favorite? And so let's see. Look, I found my wife. A lot of people showed up. I came from a wrong entrance. <laughs> Where's the entrance? <laughs> I mean, this is the entrance, but I came from the other way. Look, don't care, don't care. We watched it. So yesterday night, we went to go see Kamati Padam and it was amazing. It was such a mind-blowing movie. Uh, in Atlanta, there isn't any like uh, like theater where they show like South Indian movies. So we, uh, one of our subscribers, uh, found out about this theater who was playing this movie. So we ended up going there, and it was in the building and everything like you saw already saw in the preview. So it worked out, and yes. we watched it. It was such an amazing experience with all this like you know <laughs> like Malayalam speaking people who were sitting there. Yes, and uh, it was just amazing. And, and on top of that, the the best part was that uh, some of the movie there was Hindi dialogue and there was um, subtitles. The movie did have subtitle, which like was perfect. So we understood it everything, and uh, there was a lot of part where they where Dulkir character spoke Hindi. So we were like got excited yes. all of a sudden. And the film was definitely like a mix of a comedy, a mix of like um, hatred, real. mix yes. of like like revenge. fighting, like, revenge. It was, <laughs> revenge. Like it was, it was very good uh, crime movie put together. Yes. And it was more than a movie. It was more like experience. I felt like I was watching real people. Like yes. I was literally standing there and watching real people do like what they were doing in the film. That's how realistic it was to their facial makeup, to what they were wearing, everything's just felt so real. I think as soon as the movie starts, you, like, you goes into this, like, uh, like a world of Kamati Param. Yes. And you're, like, whatever you're seeing, you feel like actually doing it like it's happening right in front of you. Like you're there, like you're present like, there at, like exactly. at the time. So the story is about Krishnan receiving a call from Ganga saying mm -hmm. that he needs help, that someone is after him, that his life is like in danger. Yeah. So a series of events happen in between, but the, ultimately the story is about Krishnan finding Ganga. Like he's in, like searching for him and he encounters all these different people um, in the meantime while searching for Ganga. Right. So that story also takes you back to their childhood. Yes. And how they became friends, how they were in this gang together, which was led by Bala, who was one of my favorite characters wow. in the movie. His style and it was like something else like he's like doing like this and walking and everything he really looked like a gang leader his appearance what they actually did to him mm -hmm. like each of the scenes in there uh, there were a lot of uh, like crazy like fighting scenes and whatnot yeah. where he just went out of control and he would lose it and the way he acted when he just lost control and like he was just like craziness that like someone would be like so scared of him was yes. there it like was definitely, definitely. There. That scene where remember that that guy karate guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he was in movie uh, Primum too. He was the the school teacher, and uh, how he beat uh, Christian and uh, uh, Ganga, up and how they go he they both go back to him. And he started making fun of him, how did you get like, you know, you let someone beat you up like that. And how he goes <laughs> they back there to like yeah, fight with this guy. Funny. And he was getting his ass kicked too yeah. at first. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually like, you know, he beats him up and everything, you know. So you just 
like you see like you know, know Bala like was meant to them you know Bala was one of those character he didn't give up exactly like he was getting beat up with this like karate guy but he was still getting up and he ended up like beating him and, and, and it was kind of a funny scene even though there were a lot of scenes in there that were really like violent but then there were also like very comedic scenes too very, from very the, real comedy yes, like they weren't comedy. they weren't trying to be funny but that's just how they were exactly and the verbiage was so real i mean like the swear words and the things they were saying it's like mm -hmm. what people would normally say and you know that was an awesome thing that the director did was being really real yes. i would say everything was realistic about this even film. the character the location everything and everything seemed very real Real. So everything about the film, the way that they shot it, to the actors, it just felt like you were really there, like present. Like it was exactly. so realistic. Focuses mainly on Ganga and Krishna. Mm -hmm. And how they're a part of the Kamati Padam gang. And they grow up seeing so many things which form the way they are as an individual. Like they are a part of this gang, and a, a part of the violent actions, a part of like everything that Bala does. Mm -hmm. So they see what Bala does and they get trained to do that. Like they get introduced to weapons and whatnot and go kill these people because they respect Bala as their leader. And he was a thug leader pretty yes, much. Yes, he was, yeah. Because even uh, uh, Krishna went to jail saving uh, uh, Ganga. Yes. Remember when it was at night when uh, the police came and they were chasing uh, them too and the police officer almost caught Ganga mm -hmm. and then uh, he came back with the uh, Krishna came back with the knife and killed the officer that's why he was in jail so he spent a lot, good amount of time in jail so when uh, when he got out of the jail he was like in like 20s his 20s and everything he when he gets out I was thinking that maybe he became a better person now he just he's gonna, perfect yeah he's <laughs> gonna go back to like you know living like a normal life but he went back to joining his group back again yeah and he actually did that for Ganga because the relationship that Krishna and Ganga had was so strong like yeah. they were like best friends they were like, and they were like brothers exactly they, they were, were like brothers, brothers. Yeah. but then there was a conflict between them that happened in the film also Krishna and Ganga both like the same girl whose name mm -hmm. was Anita and uh, that was like kind of a, I would say a love triangle in a sense that It was Yeah, in a sense that he liked, uh, Krishna liked her and then on top of that uh, Ganga liked her But Ganga pretty much told Krishna that, you know, I'm gonna marry her regardless of how you feel Pretty much and that's yeah. what he tried to do in between there I think Krishna tried to run away with Anita But then eventually the cops caught him and that was what part of the story and he didn't right. get to be with her The funny part was when uh, they were in the car when uh, they were going to, I think, clinic or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And when uh, Bala was telling his own brother, uh, Ganga, <laughs> about uh, how Anita and you won't look good together. <laughs> and how, like, you know, girls like her not meant to be with people like us. I know, he's like fighting back. Like, he was so rowdy. I know. Like, I, like how a sibling would fight. Exactly. Like, he was saying, <laughs> like, you know, Anita likes him, Krishna, and he likes her. Like, don't come in between. Yeah. And he was getting mad. He was like, stop the car, stop the yeah. car. And he leaves, then that accident happens. That and was that, a I think that was that breaks the relationship between them two. Because obviously he leaves, so he thinking Krishna, he blamed Krishna for. That was and that such, breaks the, uh, their friendship. Exactly, that was such a tragic twist because Bala ended up dying at that scene. So Ganga thought that Krishna was the one who killed Bala, his older brother, when he had no correlation with it at all. At all. And eventually they both find out who did it. Mm -hmm. And they eventually both uh, uh, find that guy and they try to kill him. So what was your favorite part? I really had a lot of favorite parts within the film, but I would say I was more entertained to watch Bala come on screen. Like wow. I was just Something waiting. <laughs> I was just waiting Something for this guy it. to like could come and do like any scene it was. Like the one funny scene in there actually was when he goes to um, ask uh, Rosama for her hand. Oh yeah. Remember when he when, brings her home oh, yeah. and he brings her home and he pretty much tells the parents like okay she's here and then um, Rosama while going inside push, pushes the mother-in-law on the floor oh, yeah. and um, everyone's like uh, like whoa what just happened but he's just like oh, okay like this is like normal like it was just and she think, was just like him. I think one of my favorite part was uh, when Krishna brings uh, Bala to the hospital and uh, Ganga finds out and how he like he keeps like running and then he's like blaming Krishna like you did this you did this and I think at that moment how the gear character Krishna acted like how he reacted he acted so well. was so mm -hmm. good but he was shocked like you know how can this guy blame me for it because mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with this and like he's just like emotions and everything was like 
good. It gave me goosebumps. Yeah, because at that time, Bala ended up dying in the hospital, and that was one of the reasons why Gunga was so like outraged. He was like, you know, you killed him and whatnot. And Dilkir, like, you can see the pain. Like, yeah. he was just crying so intensely that, you know, I had nothing to do with this because he actually really looked up to Bala a lot in a lot of the things that they did. And Bala actually thought that Dilkir or Krishnan was very um, up here compared to everyone else in the in their True little that. like group. He really thought he was above and beyond like doing things and whatnot. Like there were a lot of scenes in their one where they were doing the bicycle and he was like telling Ganga like, you know, you can move aside because Dilkir can actually do it. Yeah. Like that when he was trying to like do it and Dilkir actually did it. I think it, the so. sucky part was when that tragedy happens, before that they wanted to move on. Remember where uh, like uh, Bala started thinking like our grandparents hated us. Exactly. Like you know my like a grandfather died because uh, he was obviously sad because of the whole land thing and mm -hmm. everything you know. And he died because the grand the grandfather was thinking like our our kids don't even think about us mm -hmm. and go against our wills and everything. So I think that scene, the death of his grandfather changed. Yes, and that's and he, that's why they wanted to go in like a good path and wanted to like you know start earning money from like good ways and that's when they started that whole travel like it was yeah, like the, a like a travel car yeah, yeah the, the transport, transport. <laughs> and that's where they thought you know they can like do good things and make better money and just right when he thought about like doing something like in a good path that's like you mentioned that's, he passed. that's what happened but I think what was amazing how uh, Krishna finds out about who killed Ganga yeah, it was because he heard that same ringtone. Same so ringtone, In tone, the beginning yeah. of the story is when um, Ganga calls uh, uh, Krishna, as we mentioned before, and that ringtone played in the background. Because he called him, mm -hmm. telling uh, Krishna that I'm fine now. I'm with the boss. Right. I'm with the boss now. He's going to take care of me or whatnot. And obviously, boss had different ideas. He was getting irritated with the fact that why this guy keep coming back to me and like asking for money, asking for support, right. like this and that. <laughs> and that's the only reason he killed him. What do you think about uh, Dilkir's uh, acting in the movie? He is such an amazing actor. Like I've said it several times, like he's like one of my favorites now. Like, he's one of my favorites. I just too. cannot believe. He how, can pull off something. He like can this. pull off anything, and I didn't think like because he has very he has that very like a uh, like boyish like chocolate boy face. For me, like we've seen a lot of Dilkir's movie. Mm -hmm. We've seen Bangalore Days. We've seen Charlie. We've seen Ustad Hotel. We've seen OK Kanmani, and then we're seeing this. Like all this movie were so different from each other. Oh my god! And how he pulled off the character to like like right here. Like he did such a good justice to all the characters he done right and like this one is one of my favorite characters yeah and also bala yeah i think bala has to be something very special i want to see other films by that actor who played bala because i'm sure he did other movies too because his caliber was how he was like acting and everything but he has something like different aura to him exactly is and he a well-known actor in the industry let, let us, us know, know. yeah us he know. was just also, amazing ganga acted really good oh my ganga acted good so the story was very interesting guys very. like i like you would have to watch it to kind of like get a better feel for it like a lot of it has to do with uh, like flashbacks and then present time and then like, but it makes sense like, it, it, it makes sense it makes sense yeah. not even one time you get bored like you know mm. they keep going back and forth like you get glued to your seat and you like you just like want to watch what happens like you want to watch like like where did Ganga go exactly. and what happened to him and you want to find out like the director did a very good job like showing their childhood their adulthood oh, and yeah. then like um you know when they get a little bit older and whatnot so that's what the film kind of it goes back and forth in each time and um certain events happen so when you guys watch it you will definitely like understand where we're coming from and enjoy it especially you as well. have to watch it you if have you, to watch it i'm sure you already seen a lot of people already seen this movie but if you haven't seen this movie please go watch yes. it growing up i've seen a lot of like crime gangster type movies like company like Satya, like Gang of Vasipur. Like these three movies were like my all time favorite gangster crime type of movies. But Kamati Param is, is, is like with them. Like it was such a good movie. Yes, it was definitely great. Like it was just very focused on what the film was about. So guys, that was our movie review to Kamati Padam. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks to you guys for recommending yes. this. Like one of the great movies we've ever <laughs> seen. Really thanks to you guys. And yes. thanks also to Max Tube to looking out for us, <laughs> finding this theater. Yes. We had no idea. And now we'll go there more frequently when more movies like come out yeah, there. Exactly. So. so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and uh, comment down below let us know what was your favorite part from the movie yes so bye guys